Well, I, I never forgot uh, what my father conveyed to me then as an 11-year-old that taking me to Parliament Building and say, son, this is Vox Populi. This is the voice of the people, spoken by him with great uh, you know, reverence for Parliament, which, as I say today, might invite a kind of cynical rejoinder. But I, I internalized that. I always you know, had that with me. And I believe that this is the seat of government. Uh, this is uh, sort of the legislative house on the hill. And, and this is where uh, we seek to work in the common good as uh, trustees of the people. So for me, this is something that really characterizes what we should aspire to, as well as reflecting what we in fact are. I think the ideal parliamentarian would be someone who appreciates that uh, he or she has a, a multiple set of intersecting roles, beginning with uh, being an ombudsperson for the constituency uh, they represent to be petitioning government for a redress of grievance. Second, a kind of representational role, not only with regard to individuals within the uh, constituency, but with regard uh, to causes that are of a cross-cutting nature, maybe health care and in my constituency, environment and the like. The third, the parliamentarian is a legislator. Uh, he can uh, initiate legislation as a member of the governing uh, party uh, or even uh, in opposition through a private member's bill. The fourth thing is a parliamentarian is a, an overseer of the operations of government. We sometimes forget this, but this is uh, where uh, parliamentarians have that uh, responsibility, really, to oversee the public purse. Uh, but it goes uh, beyond that in terms of uh, accountability as a whole. A fifth thing is the parliamentarian is a kind of public advocate for cases and causes both within and without uh, parliament. The sixth thing is the parliamentarian really as an educator. Uh, we try to organize uh, sort of educational missions here where uh, young people from our constituency come up for the day and encounter uh, parliamentarians from uh, different parties. And there's the parliamentarian as a communicator. Uh, we have various means by which we can communicate, whether holding a press conference, writing an op-ed, etc. Then there's the public engagement role, engaging with civil society. There's a lot that we as parliamentarians can learn from, whether it be uh, NGOs, whether it be uh, students, whether it be scientists, but we can be the beneficiaries of a lot of learning out there who can help us in developing private members' bills or public policy and the like. And then if I conclude, there's the role of the parliamentarian internationally and try to work with inter-parliamentary groups as we've tried to do here with matters of human rights in Iran and the like. And then there's the parliamentarian uh, who at the end of the day, and even as he or she is first elected, is a member of a political party. So you work with your caucus, and through your caucus, uh, you develop policies. And with those policies, you try to work across uh, party lines, and that's when it all comes together, hopefully, for the public good.